division by 0.1 or 1 tenth. I am Anil Kumar and now we will understand how to divide a number by tenths. Now first question for you is when you divide can you get a bigger number? This is what we will see. If you divide by tenth you may get a higher number, right? Let us explore in more details. So we have different types of questions here. Some of them are for you to do and I will teach you how to do them with the help of few of them. First one is 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 and then we have 1.23 divided by 0 0.1. So we are dividing all these numbers by 1 tenth, 0 0.1. 1 is in the tenth place, right? You know, 0 0.1 is same as 1 out of 10. So, 1 tenth, right? Then we have 3.6 divided by 0 0.1. It's written in a different way, but it means same thing, right? And these are for you to further practice. You can pause the video, copy these questions, and solve them. And then check with my answers, right? Let us start with the very first one, which is 2.5 divided by 0 0.1. So whenever we divide by decimal numbers, the first step is what? Divisor, we have to multiply so that we have a whole number here. In this case, we have one number after decimal, so we need to move the decimal one unit to right. So let us do it for both, dividend and the divisor. And then rewrite the question. What do we get? We get when I move this one unit to the right, I get 25 here, right? And when I move this decimal one unit right, I get 1. So I have to divide 25 by 1. And you know, this is equal to 25 itself, correct? So 2.5 divided by 0.1 is 25. So that's what we get. 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 equals 2. 25. As you can see, dividing by 1 tenth gives you a higher number. It is same as times 10. Can you see that? Dividing by 1 tenth is same as 2.5 times 10 is also 25. Right? So what we learn here is that when you divide by tenth, you get a higher number. And it is same as dividing by tenth is same as times ten, right? So now let us see whether it is always true or not, right? So let me take one more example. Now I am leaving this for you. Now let me take 0 0.1 divides into 5. Now we don't have a decimal number in 5, but it is considered decimal zero like this right after every whole number you can write decimal and any number of zeros first step is to make the divisor a whole number that means we have to move this decimal one unit to the right so let us move it for both dividend and the divisor and rewrite this question what do we get we get one divides into five zero fifty and 1 dividing into 50 will give you 50 itself. So we get our answer. That is 5 divided by 0 0.1 is equals to 50, right? As you can see, it is same as 5 times 10. So dividing by a decimal number 1, 0.1, 1 tenth is same as multiplication by 10. Do you understand? Now let us apply this and do some of these. So let me try 5.67 divided by 0.1. So when we divide, what should we do? We have to move this decimal one unit to the right. So now I have 56.7. I can write this as 56.7 divided by 1. Well, that is equals to 56.7 itself. It is same as 5.67 
times 10 correct so always you get times 10 when you divide by 1 tenth so I like you to do all the questions here and then write down what you have learned in this video right so we learned a couple of things here one thing is divide by one tenth that is 1 over 10 or 0 0.1 or 1 tenth is same as what times 10 so that means what that means that the decimal moves one position to right is that okay so when you divide 42 by 0 0.1 what should you expect decimal will move one position to the right so here it is 42.0 when I'm dividing this by 0 0.1 I should get 420 that decimal moves one position to the right correct moves one position that also has to move one position 420 so times 10 is easy way of finding what you should be getting when you divide by one tenth right so simply move your decimal one position to the right and that is what you get so if I divide 2.5 by 1 tenth, I should get 25. I do. 5 divided by 1 tenth is 50. 1.23 divided by 1 tenth will be 12.3. Check it out, right? So I hope you have understood the concept. So let us do some more questions. Thank you and all the best.